it's a Pottersville. Pottersville is, I mean, the some uh, this man is making a pot. You see that? This disc is called Pottersville. Yeah, and, uh, this Pottersville is spinning, and this man is giving shape to the pot uh, as it is spinning. Potter's wheel is this. Uh, a potter's wheel that has the shape of a disc. Oh, shape is given. We need this because it's a disc shape. I know the equation for moment of inertia of the disc. So moment of inertia of the disc is 1 over 2 mr squared. I will use this equation for calculating moment of inertia, shape of the disc. And radius is 0 0.5 meters. Let's, let's record it. R. Radius is given as 0.5 meters. And mass of this uh, Porter's uh, wheel, 100 kilogram. 100 kilogram. Freely rotating at 50 revolution per minute. Oh, angular speed. But given in revolution per minute. Oh, it is the omega. Omega. It is 50 revolution per minute. So, and the potter can stop the wheel in six seconds. Stop. What does stop mean? Final angular speed must be equal to zero, which means this is initial angular speed. Yeah, it is 50 revolution per minute is initial angular speed. Final angular speed is zero. So, what is angular acceleration of the wheel? We will calculate first angular acceleration by the time time is given. Yeah, it stops this wheel in six seconds, delta t. Six seconds. Question, calculate the angular acceleration of the wheel and also how much torque does the potter apply to the wheel? Calculate net torque. How much torque is applied? So the first part, A part, is just about the kinematic equations we studied in chapter one, section one. So we are going to calculate the angular acceleration by the definition of angular acceleration. Remember, angular acceleration is calculated like this. Alpha is equal to final angular speed minus initial angular speed divided by delta t. So final angular speed is zero. Initial is given 50 revolution per minute. The delta T is given in seconds, so I can calculate. Only I need to change this revolution per minute to meter per second. Yeah, like this initial angular speed is 50 revolution per minute. Revolution per minute. I need to convert this revolution per minute to meter per second, drag in per second. So I will do that. Remember, one revolution is how many radians? 6.28 radians. One revolution. First, convert revolution to radian and write in numerator because revolution is in numerator. But minute is in denominator. One minute is how many seconds? 60 seconds. Write it in denominator. After that, two operation. 50 multiplied by 6.28 divided by 60 seconds, which is equal to 5.23. Yani initial angular speed of this Potter's wheel is 5.23 radian per second. Now I converted evolution per minute to radian per second. Now I can calculate alpha, which is angular acceleration. Final angular speed is zero because it stops at the end of six seconds. Initial angular speed is 5.23 radian per second. Time interval is six seconds. It stops in six seconds. Divide by six, answer will be 0.97, but negative, negative, negative 0.87 radian per second squared. What does this negative indicate? Slows down, slowing down. If, yeah, in, in the question, of course, these parties, these men must stop the wheel. Of course, to stop the wheel, you should slow down. That's why angular acceleration is negative. 
Now, this is the A part. Now, let's do the B part. How much torque does the putter apply to the wheel? Let's remember the equation. Net torque is equal to moment of inertia multiplied by angle of acceleration. Angle of acceleration already calculated. This is angle of acceleration, but moment of inertia, I need to calculate it. It's a wheel. Moment of inertia of the equation for the sh shape of the disc. It's a disc. One over two. Uh, M R squared, one over two M of the disc. It is equal to 100 kilogram. R of the disc, 0.5 meters, but squared. Sometimes students are forgetting the square, squared. So then let's do that. Do this. One over two multiplied by 100, multiplied by 0.5 squared is equal to 12.5. Moment of inertia of this Potter's wheel is 12.5 kilogram meter squared. Now we can calculate net torque. Net torque is equal to I. I already calculated, inserted in here, 12.5. Angular acceleration is, don't forget negative sign, negative 0.87. If we multiply this two number, multiplied by negative 0.87, which is equal to almost negative 11, 10.9. Net torque is equal to negative 10.9. If you round it, it becomes negative 11. Newton meter is the answer of this question. 